All right, so I've been out here cleaning up brush all morning. I got a lot of the easy stuff to deal with pull down and put in brush piles and I've been dragging logs into a big pile for splitting next year. So I figured I'd film this. This could be, uh, could go really well, but it could be comical. So I'm gonna try and drag down this uh, closest leaner and see what happens. Wish me luck.
too. That's something you should know. Because from little pennies, many dollar bills will grow. When your family starts to eat, and you want to join them too, use your fork and spoon and napkin and do everything they do. Well, no one has to tell you what to do and what to say. You just do it and you do it right and do it right away. That's a good habit, a very good habit. So get into the habit day and night. Cause if you're gonna do things, do things right. As promised, that could turn out to be a comedy skit. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, little abuse I was putting on the pickup truck there. And uh, I'm going to keep uh, moving with these other these other logs after I get this one out of my way so I can get in there and get the other two. Let me uh, adjust the camera a little bit here. I currently have the far one farthest from the truck chained up. I haven't yanked on that one yet. Maybe it'll be easier to move than the other one. Who knows? But uh, here you go and uh, enjoy a laugh. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long range exploration of space. And none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. But in a very real sense, it will not be one man going to the moon. We make this judgment affirmatively. It will be an entire nation. I believe we should go to the moon. Well, as you can see, the second round went way better than the first round, and it's really starting to open up up here. Got a few trees left to cut in here, but... This hill is getting much more open. Well, back to work.
Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack, be Jack be nimble and Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candle. Be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Jack. Over here, I still need to clean up started a brush pile but the crest of the hill is now getting significantly clearer than it was I just have to do a little more brush cleanup before I drop any more so I'm not tripping in the brush while I'm trying to buck things up so I'll go take a look topside and there's some of the wood I've collected so far um, you can see the ruts where I've been dragging it down the hill all day with this pickup truck nice nice size brush pile here Not too many more trees to clear in here. I do, like I said now, yesterday, I do have to clear quite a bit on the right-hand side of the road so that there's enough sunshine on, on, this, on this little hilltop. But yeah, it's a future home of, I don't know, it's a very small orchard, six, maybe eight trees at the very most. Let me uh, take a look up at the back. There's not a whole lot left. Got a good deal of the brush cleaned up. As you saw earlier in the video, my comedy routine, I pulled those leaners down. I've actually dragged most of them out of there now. I do have that one back there still to clean up. Yet another brush pile. And then I continued over here today uh, just picking away at the, the little trees. This whole section in here, there's actually a lot of hardwoods mixed in with uh, a lot of hemlocks. And I think we're going to cut down most of the hemlocks and uh, open the forest up a bit and let the let the hardwoods really kind of kind of shine through. Cause it's it's really dense in here. There's a lot of really near dead stuff. So I'm going to clean a lot of this out and thin it while we're up here. And there's the rock ledge right behind the brush pile, and I'll probably take a few trees off the top of the ledge as well. Clear all this out, and we will have some wonderful sun on our garden. And some more brush to tidy up. Luckily, the back of my main brush pile is right there, so I can get all this stuff out of here. We're going to have some big burns this year after the snow falls, when we're uh, allowed to burn a little more often around here. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying our progress. I'm sure as uh, the fall progresses and if we uh, don't get snow too soon, I'll keep cutting. Stay tuned.